Hey everyone, in this video we are going to open up the Hot Wheels Race Crate Stunt Set. This is from the Hot Wheels Track Builder System. It unfolds and you can set it up three different ways. Gravity Drop, the Drag Race, and the Hill Climb. It also comes with two cars. Let's take a look at this entire outer packaging here so you can see on top, again, the Track Builder System. It comes with over eight feet of track and these are the parts included inside. Here are some of the other sets that you can collect and connect. And here is what it looks like if you set up all of these sets together. Lots of fun to be had. It even comes with a carry handle so it's a portable set once it's all folded up. Really neat. And on this side you can see what the set looks like again. And the bottom just has some more writing and stuff like that. Copyright of 2018. Now, let's go ahead and open it up. Inside the crate we do have a lot of pieces that need to be assembled. We have the main crate base right here which has three pictures of the different ways you can set this place set up. We have the loop base, we have launchers, finish line, track connectors, the loop base, and some straight track pieces here. Here are the two cars included and it does come with a full color manual which is very nice and shows you how to set this up properly. Here we have assembled the drag race layout and as you can see this is a really long playset. Here is the loop at the end as well as the finish line flags. And if we go back to the beginning we have the two launchers. We'll set up the two cars that came with this set and because this is a four lane track set we'll use a couple other cars as well. And the cool thing about these launchers is that you can launch two cars if you want, or you can launch all four at once. We'll try launching all four at once and see how well this performs for a first try. And here we go. Maybe it needs a little more power.
After testing out the drag race, there is one thing that I did notice that is a little bit unfortunate. As you can see, there are quite a few little gaps on the straightaway here, and there has to be these gaps so that this can fold up into the crate. So there's gaps right here, gaps right here, and gaps right here, where when the cars pass through, sometimes they might get caught on the edges and fly out of control. Saw that happening especially towards the end here, right as they approach the loop. Although it could be that these two extra cars that I decided to use, in addition to the ones that are included with this set, maybe just aren't quite as good because they seem to crash more often than these two that came with the set. In any case, let's try the next layout and see how well the cars perform on that. In just a few steps, we have the hill climb set up, ready to go. So let's give it a try and see how well it works. That was a look at the hill climb layout. That was a pretty fun layout overall. It did seem to suffer from the same problems that the drag race layout had a little bit, where cars would sometimes hit the edges of the walls and fly out of control. The big challenge with this layout is launching the car with just enough power so that it makes it over the hill, but not too much power so that it jumps and flies right off the track. Now, let's take a look at the gravity drop layout. Here's what the gravity drop layout looks like. And one thing I forgot to mention is that if you do have any extra orange Hot Wheels track or other track builder play sets and accessories, you can attach them to the end here and make your set even bigger.
Well folks, I have to say that the gravity drop layout is my favorite layout of the three by far. Most of the time when the cars went down the track, they made it around the loop. Sometimes they didn't, but for every single race at least one car made it through the finish line, so that is very cool. And I really like the starting line here. It's a fair start so that you know exactly that all of the four cars are starting at the same time, which is not exactly true with the launchers. So this is by far my favorite layout. And after we do one more race, it's time to put the set away. One last thing, they didn't mention anything about a fourth layout, but hey, if you take off the loop, you can have a straight gravity drop. One really nice thing about this set is if you lose your instructions which show you how to put the pieces away, there's a little sticker right here that shows you how they store inside. Here it is all folded up, the Hot Wheels race crate. I really like how this folds up into one compact package. It's really nice for storage, it's something you can easily fit into the corner of a closet. I also really like this carry handle on top, it seems very durable. Seems like it should last for quite a long time. And I also really like that you can fit quite a few cars inside. You can fit a lot more than just the two cars that came with this playset for sure. And as for the set itself, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, my favorite layout was the gravity drop layout. The other two layouts with the launchers were a little bit tricky, but uh, with a little bit of practice, you can get the cars to go through just fine, I think. And so overall, this is a pretty cool set, the Hot Wheels race crate. And I hope you enjoyed this review, and stay tuned for future videos.